guys, welcome back. Today we are working on the Nissan Frontier. I've got a couple little projects I wanna do, so let's just get right at it. First thing is, is I already have a brake controller for our trailer, but it's mounted up underneath of the dashboard and I sometimes hit my knee on it. So uh, I was really intrigued by my buddy that we installed a Red Arc Tow Pro Elite. Um, I'll link up in the corner there for the video so you can check that out. He set that up in his 4Runner and I thought, man, I want one of those because you can hide the controller anywhere, just have a little knob. We also have the Red Arc. Wowee, it is really, really windy today. <laughs> the Red Arc uh, wiring harness for the Nissan. Uh, I do have some quick splices. Don't know if I'm gonna end up using these for this project. And then I met maybe. So the other part of this project is I want to finally get the switch installed for the ditch lights. And I'll link that video up in the corner as well. The um, KC highlights ditch lights. So I'm going to basically make my own switch panel and I ordered these on I don't even know how to, it's O-T-R-A-T-T-W. But anyway, they have these little kits you can put together. So these are just individual switch things. So for instance, I've got a switch here and it fits into these and they're modular. So you can have, you get two end pieces and then you can order as many interior pieces as you want. And this is gonna fit in the center console and I'll show you that here in a second. So what I'll have to do is I've got five switch spots. I'll be able to put a switch in here for the ditch lights and then the Red Arc controller it comes with this universal uh, piece, but it doesn't fit in here. So I got some blanks to stick in here and I will use one of the blanks to make my own bracket for the Red Arc um, little controller. So let's go ahead and hop in the truck here and I will show you exactly what we're going to be doing with this. All right, so here we are in the Frontier and this is what the Frontier lovers call the sauce holder because you can fit <laughs> dipping sauces in there. So I'm going to probably be called out on this, but that is exactly where we are going to be installing our little switch panel. So again, you can see these guys, they are kind of modular. You can make them to whatever size you want. And then I've got a switch. So this is the switch for the ditch lights here. And it's just been hanging out underneath my dashboard until I figure out what I want to do. So this is the switch for the ditch lights and they'll custom print out the name there. And then this will light up when the headlights come on. You can see the wiring terminals there. So that'll go in one of these. I think I'll probably end up putting it at this end. And then the tow controller will fit here. And again, I got these blanks, so I will drill a little hole in there to put the tow controller switch uh, dial in, and then that'll go there. And then I've got some blanks to fill these for now, and then I can use these in the future. And then this whole setup is gonna go right in there. You can see my old tow controller right there. So when you hop in, I always hit my knee on that guy. So that's why we're gonna be installing the red arc. So we have to find a spot underneath the dashboard here for the red arc, and then the wiring will go underneath this console. So the first thing I really need to do is get this console taken apart. And then this, I'm actually gonna have to cut out to fit this here. And if I mess up, 
this piece isn't too expensive. So this is really easy to pop out um, if you wanted to try this yourself. I mean, basically the whole thing just, I mean, you can already see it. It just lifts up a bunch of clips. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that out of there and then I'll show you how we're gonna do this. Okay guys, here's the center console piece. Now this piece is permanent here, so we're gonna have to cut that out. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking our little custom piece here, sticking it kind of in the middle, and then marking out all the way around. Um, it does fit as far as the width goes, but the length definitely does not. I guess I could have done four switches, but then it wouldn't really work right. So um, anyway, we'll just use a marker to mark around that. And then I do have a multi-tool um, like a plunge cutter saw that we can cut this guy out with. So hopefully we get it marked out good enough that this will just slip right in there and it'll look good. All right guys, so if you're ever gonna do a project like this, I highly recommend getting a, a multi-tool like this. This is obviously Makita. I uh, kind of wish I had a 12 volt version because this thing is it's pretty hefty for for plunge cutting like this. So maybe I'll I do have a Milwaukee 12 volt set, so I might uh, get one of those. But uh, yeah, and then we just need a marker, and then we've got our little switch panel that we're making. So we'll just set him up here. Make sure it is straight. And then we just mark it out. Okay, so I've got it marked out here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with maybe the sides and then We'll just uh, cut straight across there. guys there's our new switch panel in place of the sauce holder I may want to um, glue that in there but uh, we'll see so um, yeah you could tell definitely a permanent um, modification here but let's go ahead and get this into the truck and see what it looks like as is all right guys there we go so again i might want to uh permanently glue that guy in i still have this kind of taken apart but i think the switch panel itself is going to look really good um, especially once we get switches in there and blanks and stuff it's gonna work out great. So I think the next thing I wanna do is get one of these blanks and then install the Red Arc uh, controller knob and see how that goes. All right guys, so again, this is the little universal piece that the Red Arc comes with and that's not gonna fit into our new switch panel. So what we're gonna have to do is install the little controller so you see a little knob there into one of the blanks. So what I'm gonna have to do is maybe cut out this middle piece here uh, and then drill a hole through the middle. So this is the Red Arc Toe Pro. This is the Elite version, so it can be installed in any direction. And then it has a manual control 
uh, as well. And then we have our little booklet here. And then our little light up knob. Um, so yeah, this is the universal wiring harness, which we're not gonna be using. This is the little wiring loom that goes to our little controller. Then here's our control knob here. So you see there's our knob. And then this is the piece that screws onto the back, which will be on the back of here, which is why I'll probably have to cut this piece out. Okay guys, so what I think I'm gonna do is measure diagonally like this and then drill right in the middle of this guy. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just use like a straight edge to mark a pencil across so we get right in the middle. All right guys, so I got the middle of this blank uh, figured out. So I actually just measured the, the uh, what's half of each side. So half of this is like 15 16 and then the other direction. So this way is 15 30 seconds. So now we need to make a hole that's big enough for this piece to fit through. This is the screw that holds this whole piece on the back. So I'll just have to figure out which drill bit is going to work. Looks like 2364, really odd, but that work, I need a drill. All right, I just got my little Milwaukee drill here. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole in this blank. We need to cut this out. We can stick the little control piece in there. All right, guys, we got our Toe Pro Elite stuck in this little switch blank. All right, get a nice click. It's all the way down. We can turn it all the way up. So that'll look pretty nice in there. So just a little custom fabrication here. Um, there is a little white sticker that you can stick. So if we pull that off and then this can fit behind this whole setup there so you can see the lights a little better, but I'm not gonna end up using that. We'll just stick the little controller there and that'll be that. All right guys, so the next thing we really need to do is find a spot for our Toe Pro, and then we'll need to route the control wire, and then once we get that all mounted up, then we can use the wiring harness to set that up in the truck. All right, guys, I've switched to my phone because uh, I can't quite get the angle in here to show you, but since my phone has a wide angle. Um, so there is our Toe Pro right here. And there is a screw. There's a screw holding this piece up right here. So I just pulled out that screw and then um, ran that screw through the bracket for the Toe Pro, and uh, yeah, it's nice and secure in there. And then all this wiring is just kind of what Nissan does. And uh, I've hidden the toe controller. Let's see, it's this guy, this toe controller wire back up in here. So this is the connector for the factory toe package right here and then the harness that you buy from Red Arc is plugged right into there, super easy. So now we need to get the little controller wire. That should be super easy because I can run it back in behind here and then into the console here and then get it wired up to our dial. All right guys, here's our dial and our wire 
uh, that goes from the dial to the controller. So on the back of here, you'll see it's a white connector. So that white connector just snaps right into there. And then the black connector goes to the tow controller itself. All right, guys, she is fully installed. Super easy project. Um, it just takes a little fabrication in your truck, but the wiring for this piece was super easy to get past this little area here. I just shoved it up in there, was able to grab it, plug it into the controller, and then it's just right there. And when you push it, it'll light up a little bit, but I don't really have a way to test it right now since I'm not going anywhere with the trailer. I just stuck the switch in so I didn't have an empty spot. And then I have these three blanks here. Um, so my next project at some point is going to be to get the ditch lights wired up to here. This project is going to be a little bit different because I need to find a wire um, that lights up the dash lights when the lights are on. That switch will light up amber uh, when the dash lights are on, but I need to find a wire somewhere uh, to tap off of to get that. And then I'm at some point going to want to make a wiring harness for it, you know, so I don't have this crazy like weird wiring thing going on. So um, yeah, this this was super easy and you know, I really like the location here because I can just reach over and do what I need to do. Um, I thought about putting it up here, but you know, this kind of makes a little more sense there. So yeah, super easy. And then again, at some point I'll get this swapped out for the uh, for the ditch lights. So guys, that is it for this super easy project. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to get rid of this Kurt brake controller, not that there's anything wrong with it. Um, it did kind of surge a little bit, a little too much than, than I uh, would like. What's really nice about swapping out to the Red Arc is the discreteness of it. So all we have is a little knob. I'm not gonna be hitting my knee on the brake controller anymore, which is nice. Uh, everything here I paid for on Amazon. I'll leave all the links for this as well as the uh, wiring harness uh, adapter. This works on Infinity and Nissan, so just in case you want to get one. And uh, yeah, so super easy install, really sleek. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below if you would do this any different or if you have questions on the actual install. If you found this video useful, please hit like, hit subscribe, share it, and I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you stay tuned. We've got more coming up on the Frontier and maybe some news on the camper there. So yeah, thanks again. See you next time. Thank you.